What is up, everybody? Buddy Blackford here, and I've got another cool Photoshop CS6 tutorial for you. And it's going to be learning about the bitmap color mode. And what the bitmap color mode is, is it makes all the pixels either black or white. And there's a few different modes and methods that you can use to uh, make like cool looking images that are in black and white. So let's just get in there and I'll show you what one looks like. Now if you go and try to take your colored image here and make it a bitmap by going to image mode, it's not going to work. First you have to make it grayscale. So click on grayscale and uh, just make it grayscale. And now we can go back into image mode again and now we can make things bitmap. So here we've got our different modes. Um, just above this is whatever resolution you want to make it to. So just you might as well make it the same resolution that you have your image already. Um, I'm just gonna leave it here. I don't feel like looking to see what it is because I'm not gonna like make this for final print. But um, we've got our different things here. Well, let's start with 50% threshold and hit OK, and you can see that everything is either black or white. Now. Um, Bitmap images are good because they have a really, really small file sizes, like very small. And uh, something that you might use these for, um, I've heard of people uh, making line art drawings or line art sketches with these because uh, usually line art is always black and white. Um, black and white ink drawings, I think. Yeah, black and white ink drawings are some things that people use, and then I've seen my one of my friends used uh, these to create uh, halftone screens. So uh, halftones are like the little dots that are in like the background, kind of like old school, like 80s almost. They're like retro-y, and uh, they can be used in modern uh, stuff too as well if you use them correctly. But uh, if you don't know what halftones are, just look it up. They're cool. I like them. So let's go back. To, um, I'm just gonna hit Control Z, and I'll just start going over some of these uh, modes with uh, with you because there's a few of them. So 50% threshold you just saw, and what that does is it uh, looks at the gray values of the pixels, and if it's above the middle value, which is 128, so if it's um, 129 or above, it's gonna be changed to white. If the value pixel or if the gray value is that, it's gonna be changed to white. And if it's below, then it's going to be changed to black. And it basically just creates a high contrast black and white image. So the next one, let's go to uh, Pattern Dither. I'll hit OK. And what it does is it um, converts an image by organizing um, the gray levels into like geometric patterns of dots, or black and white dots. So it looks like it's got gray in there, but it doesn't. It's black and white dots. Um, they've uh, riddled some white dots within black dots so there's a higher concentration of black dots here obviously a high concentration of white dots here and then like an even concentration of the black and white here where it looks like it's gray now let's zoom in and see what it looks like see now you can see definitely that everything is black and white they just added more concentration into some of the areas to make them darker or blacker or whatever all right let's back off a little Let's go to the next one. I'm just going to hit Control Z so I can um, go to the next mode. Flatten layers, yeah, yeah. Quit asking. Diffusion Dither. Now this one's um, a little confusing as how to the process goes because I don't know the actual process, but what it does is um, it uses some 50% threshold and some of the pat pattern dither and combines them and um, it does the converting above the middle value to, to white. If it's a middle value of the gray is above 128, then it's going to be white. If it's below, then it's going to be black. And what it does is it creates a uh, grainy film-like texture. So let's go to the next one. Control Z. Let's go image mode, bitmap, once again. Halftone screen. We're going to hit OK. And uh, this is going to simulate the uh, effect of printing a grayscale image through a halftone screen. So I'll just hit this. There's uh, different uh, shapes here. You, I'll let you guys mess with these. Um, I don't really need to go through all of them, but let's go through. Let's just do one more to see what they do. But if you need to look up halftone screen, go ahead. Okay, 
Let's do it again. And let's check uh, line, and I'll just keep these the same and hit OK, and you can see uh, basically the same thing. So it simulates like a printing effect that they use, and then they use a halftone screen for that. Um, let's go to the next one. The final one, custom pattern. <laughs> And uh, pretty much it simulates the effect of printing the grayscale image through your custom pattern. And um, this probably isn't going to work too well. Let's pick, well, yeah, we can pick one of these ones. This pattern will probably be a little better. Hit OK. And uh, this applies the pattern in black and white. Now let's try that one that we uh, just had. Go back. Oops, my bad. Let's try the one with the, like, the bubbles. It's the, the uh, iconic Photoshop pattern here, the water bubble things. So that's what that does. And I didn't pick that one at first because it always looks like goofy like this, and they look like creepy. Look, like, look at this face over here. It looks really creepy. So this is one. It's like, ah, oh, whatever. Well, that's um, uh, bitmap color mode for you. And you can see the different uses you can use for it. Um, some of them actually look pretty cool. I like the... Uh, 50% threshold and then the pattern dither the, the best. Um, if you want to create some cool looking art, use that. Um, that's it for this tutorial. Check out our more tutorials on uh, buckysroom.org or the New Boston YouTube channel, which you're already on. Thumbs up if you like and uh, thumbs down if you hated it. Everybody have a good day. See you later.